Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are checking out my channel for the very first time, definitely want to consider subscribing. I make awesome videos on a weekly basis that you guys are going to love. So a lot of aspiring models make mistakes when they're first starting out their careers. In this video, I want to give you guys some of the most common mistakes that aspiring models make and how to avoid them. All right, so the first mistake that aspiring models make is working with cheap photographers. Now, you don't necessarily need professional photos to get your modeling career started. You can actually start your career with just some digitals, but they still need to be high quality. You don't need to work with um, expensive photographers, but at the same time, you don't wanna work with cheap photographers because you're gonna get cheap results. Now, when I say cheap photographers, I mean photographers who are amateur, these photographers are also just starting out and they're also just building out their portfolio. If you do want to work with photographers and build your model portfolio book, um, you definitely want to work with high fashion photographers, photographers who understand lighting techniques and how to shoot you and bring out your best features because your beauty portraits is going to be one of your most important shots. Your three quarters and your full body shots are going to be very important and you want to make sure that it's high quality especially when you're submitting to agencies. If you submit pictures that are kind of amateur, it shows that you're not a professional model and it's a bad look on you. The next mistake a lot of aspiring models make is applying to the wrong agencies. Now, I've mentioned this in other videos, you have to know what type of model you are. If you're a commercial print model, make sure you're applying to agencies that represent commercial print talents. If you're a fitness model, make sure you're applying to fitness modeling agencies. I'm a hand model, mama. A finger jockey. We don't think the same way as the face and body boys do. We're a different breed. So this is a mistake that a lot of aspiring models make is that they apply to the wrong agencies and of course they don't hear anything back and that discourages them. So make sure that you're applying to the right agency. Start off small. Start off with agencies in your city. Look for a mother agency if you can and start from there. Another mistake that aspiring models make is taking rejections personally. And I've seen this myself. You don't want to take rejections personal. This is a business. If you get rejected, try to understand why you were rejected. Every model is not going to get accepted into every agency. Every model is not going to book every job. Rejection is a huge part of the industry, so you have to get used to it. A lot of successful models were rejected and still went on to have a great career. And I discussed that in a previous video I did. Another mistake that aspiring models make is giving up too soon. And I've seen this. Don't give up. If you get rejected, if an agency turns you down, that does not mean that you can never be a model. That is not the end of your career. Um, figure out what you can do to improve. Um, if it's your body, work on your body. If it's your walk or if it's your photos, take better photos, work with high fashion photographers, learn how to walk with confidence. The next mistake that aspiring models make is getting into bad contracts. I've seen aspiring models who recently signed with agencies and then they didn't read the contract thoroughly or they didn't compare or ask around to see, hey, is this normal in the contract? Make sure you're reading the contracts thoroughly and make sure you're asking around. Um, whenever an agency or anyone in the business presents you with a contract, it's custom to get three to five business days to review it and decide if you want to sign. I've seen some horrible contracts, especially from international agencies or agencies in a smaller market where they're charging up to 40% commission um, when the customer is usually around 10 to 20% commission. I've seen exclusive contracts up to four years um, when usually it's a one year exclusive for most agencies. So make sure that you're reading the contract thoroughly. Don't just rush to sign a contract just because you got signed. Um, make sure you're not getting into a bad deal, guys. This is very important. Another mistake that aspiring models make, especially for the women, is wearing too much makeup to cast-ins. Now, when you go on cast-ins and go-sees, they actually want to see your natural look. So try to keep your makeup very simple. I've seen aspiring models go to castings with a full face of makeup and this actually takes away from your opportunity of being casted because the clients or the agency is not getting a chance to see what your natural skin and what your natural beauty looks like. Speaking of castings, another mistake aspiring models make is not dressing appropriately. When you go on castings and go sees, it's very important that you dress appropriately for the casting. Usually that's a form fitting outfit, a simple white t-shirt, a simple black shirt or black tanks. Black jeans if you can, boots or heels. You definitely want to show off your physique, your long limbs. Um, this is very important. So make sure you dress appropriately to get casted. This is a mistake that aspiring models make. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. If you have questions, drop them in the comment box down below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next one.